Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and you can see me hanging out in my single player uh, testing world because today I want to cover a two-part series on a new add-on for Industrial Craft. Yes, what add-on has uh, enough add-on to have a two-part series, you ask? It's the Rocket Science mod. That's right, this is an add-on for Industrial Craft. Um, it uses a whole bunch of cool neat things here. It's a character called Kentington. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, buddy. Um, you can check it out on the Industrial Craft Forum, which you can find by clicking on the link in my signature, or in the description of this uh, video. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool mod. It adds a bunch of neat little things to the game. Um, so why don't I get started on crafting a couple of the neat things that I can get going for you. Um, so this will be part one, where I'm going to show you some of the machines. And uh, just a teaser for part two, uh, there's an item called a fusion reactor which um, I'm not going to cover in this episode, but I'll pretty much cover most of the other items that this mod adds. Um, the mod's currently version 0 0.6, um, and they've talked about some really neat things going on in version 1 when they're ready to release it. So, uh, yep, so this video won't feature the fusion reactor, but it'll feature most of the other cool stuff you can make. So let's get cooking, shall we? Uh, the first item I want to show you guys is called a booster module. You can take some refined iron here. You can see I'm using the uh, Faithful Texture Pack and some filled fuel cans, and you get a booster module. Pretty spiffy. And you get your empty fuel cans back, of course. And I'm just going to make another one of these booster modules and take back my empty fuel cans. Very cool. Um, a booster module is like a rocket, and you can use it to shoot stuff like a rocket. Um, the first thing I'll show you guys how to shoot is actually this pattern. We can get a parachute and attach it to a minecart to get a passenger module. And if we attach that passenger module to the booster module, we get a passenger rocket. So let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna grab a lever. I don't think I need a lever for this one. Um, simply place down your booster rocket, and you can see it's got the minecart in it. And if you right click on the minecart, you'll get inside. To aim where this guy shoots at, you left click on one of the sides and you'll see that the passenger rocket target has changed. 0, 0,5, 0, 0,10, etc. Now, I made it 0, 0,10 and I right clicked, and it's going to shoot me 10 blocks forward from my position. And you can see a ring of fire from where I took off at. So I landed 10 blocks away from my current position. Big bunch of fire on the ground right where I took off. and I get back my passenger module. And I can place that passenger module back in a crafting table with another booster module to get another passenger rocket. This time, let's say we want to go 20 blocks, 25 blocks forward, and 10 blocks in that direction. Right click, and you'll see me coming down. So I went 10 blocks over and 25 blocks forward. So that's the passenger module. It's pretty fun. Uh, definitely a neat way to get around. So, uh, let's say that we want to know how far away something is, because maybe we want to figure out how far we want to set our passenger module to shoot us. Well, that's not too hard. They added a neat little tool here. If we combine some refined iron, a diamond, and an electronic circuit, we get a laser range finder. This guy's pretty cool. If you uh, point it at a block, it tells you how far away it is in the X and Z coordinates. So you can see one block ahead of me, Z1, Z2, Z3. If I shoot three blocks this way, it's Z0 and X3. And I can shoot it off in that direction, and you can kind of see all the different neat stuff, and how far away things are. Sometimes it tells you what the block is, sometimes it doesn't. I'm guessing they're going to add more of those in the future. So you can see tile, tall grass and tile bed. Um, so it, sometimes it can identify what it's being pointed at, otherwise it just says distance to block. Which is still pretty cool. So that's the laser rangefinder. A neat little toy, and for the cost of one diamond, hey, why not? Now, do you guys really think they would add a rocket into this game without making it do some damage? No, I don't think so. That's why we've got TNT. Three refined iron gives us a TNT warhead which you can combine with a booster module for a missile. Actually, I think I need this lever. So let's give it a shot, shall we? TNT. 
let's go, I don't know, 25 blocks in that direction. Sounds pretty good. And all you need is a redstone current applied. I'm going to just get some redstone for a neat effect here. Ready? Fire. Whoosh. Off it goes. And let's look in this direction here. We should see it coming down. Kaboom. Of course, I'm brilliant, and I just launched that into water. So, yeah. Way to go, me. Let's make another one of them, shall we? I need another TNT block now. So I'll turn off the redstone current. Let's just shoot it 15 blocks in that direction. Up it goes and down it comes. Kaboom! Cool. Definitely cool. So why don't I just give myself a couple more of those booster modules. Hang on with me a second while I find them in TMI. Hey, there we go. Now if we take a empty cell and a lava cell, and we combine our iron with the lava cell, we get an incendiary warhead. This guy looks pretty cool. Let me uh, just take a nap real quick and I'll show it to you. There we go. So again, combine your booster module with your incendiary warhead to get an incendiary missile. We'll plant it down here. And let's launch it maybe 50 blocks in that direction. Boom! Look at that. Seriously, guys, that is cool. Just a massive amount of fire. Can you imagine what would happen if you launched that into a forest? Oh, that would be neat. Alright, guys. Ooh. Now, there is a nuclear warhead, but I don't know if I should show it to you. Yeah, I think I better be safe and probably not show you what the nuclear warhead looks like. So why don't I wrap up this episode and... No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you the nuclear warhead. Alright, let's get myself a nuclear missile built. And that's pretty simple and straightforward. As soon as I can find the nuclear guy in here. Here we go. Nuke. Same pattern. Three refined iron. Nuclear warhead combined with a booster module. Now where do I want to shoot this guy? How about over here? Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot. So... Plant it down. Let's just say 30 in that direction. I hope it's far enough away. Off it goes. And down it comes. Kaboom! Cool. Now, of course, the world's gonna have to reload here. But, oh yeah, look at the damage I just caused. I blew up a massive area. Holy cow. Look at that. Uh, I think my bed used to be here. So yeah, 30, definitely not far enough away. Uh, yeah, that was a big explosion. Definitely a big explosion. Ooh. I think I'm doing this on my test world. Hey, how far away am I from the other side of this big cavern that I just made? 60 blocks? Ha, <laughs> not bad. So, yeah, definitely just destroyed the little bed I had set up. Yeesh. Alright, now, I think there's one or two little items here I want to make real quick just to show you, um, because they're neat. But before I do that, let me get myself a new, uh, crafting setup, because I had it all prepared to show you and I just destroyed it. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, while well, my Singularity Compressor is recharging itself up in terms of pressure, I'm going to make a neat little tool here. Take a piece of rubber, a pump, and a rechargeable battery, and you get a wet dry back. This is a pretty cool item, actually, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm looking forward to using it. First off, you can suck up dry items. Um, I'm not sure of exactly what blocks it can pick up. I know it can get sand, 
So you can see I'm just holding right click here and it sucks up the sand straight into my inventory. So that's pretty cool. Um, but more useful than picking up sand with it is you can pick up lava and water and put them directly into cells. So if I, uh, if you look on my hotbar down there, you can see I've got some empty cells hanging out. If I just right click on water, it uses an empty cell and gives me a water cell. And I can just hold right click here and suck up a whole bunch of water cells. Definitely, definitely way better than uh, hanging out here with a bucket and trying to just fill up cells over and over with a bucket. Yeah, way better. So that is a really cool item and a good way to get some water and lava cells. Um, that's of course if you're not using, you know, build craft and doing pumps and bucket fillers and all that stuff. Um, so this guy should be pretty well charged up here. So why don't I get ready for the next component that I want to show you and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to do is get an electric circuit, 2x insulated gold cables, and 6 energy crystals. And I must be doing something wrong, because this isn't giving me what I want. Alright guys, looks like I got this crafting working here. Uh, didn't like the TMI energy crystals I grabbed here, so I just went and made some. And if you put 2x insulated gold cables with uh, electronic circuits and 6 energy crystals around it, you get a crystal bat pack. That's right, this is an upgraded version of the bat pack. Ta-da! Um, that will store 10 times as much energy as a normal bat pack. So how cool is that? Uh, very, as a matter of fact, very cool. guessing because it stores 10 times as much energy as a normal backpack, it takes a few minutes of me using this uh, mining drill for it to start to show, you know, the green bar damage thing. But it's a pretty slick item and it works pretty well. Alright guys, just determined something with this uh, mod is that the crystal bat pack is currently bugged. I just read about it on the forums. The mod developer is aware of it and he's working on it. It works with the wet dry vac. Uh, so you can see as I'm using my wet dry vac, it's going to drain from the crystal bat pack rather than the uh, wet dry vac itself. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with the diamond drill or the chainsaw just yet, but I would imagine that bug fix to be just around the corner because uh, this guy obviously knows what he's doing uh, with this mod and. Uh, he just needs to patch that up. So uh, I'm just going to leave this segment in for you guys to be aware of that this crystal backpack exists. And I'll also mention that there is a Lapatron backpack. Um, I won't show you guys how to make it just yet. Uh, maybe I'll save that for the next episode. But it's pretty similar and you can find the recipe online. And that holds 100 times the amount of energy that a regular backpack can hold. So uh, again, these two items are currently bugged where they don't affect the diamond drill or the chainsaw, but it does work with the wet dry vac, um, and I'm sure that that bug will be fixed pretty soon. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, this is currently version 0.6, so you can expect a bug or two here and there. So why don't I wrap up this segment? Uh, this has been episode one, uh, or part one, of the rocket science add-on. And I'll shortly be uploading a part two system where I'll show you what fusion reactors are like and how you can build one. So I hope you guys look forward to checking that out, and I'll catch you all later. Take it easy.